Hello everyone, welcome back to the V-Cards. The first yeah. problem right now is currently Bowser John And Wallace Pesco, alright. We are continuing the reviews, we have Venom. I just want to say, uh, I, I, I have my axe, look. Oh, yeah. I haven't shown it in a while. I, I didn't lose it. I just don't lose it that much, but, you know, just in case. Alright, we should probably get on with the actual review already. Yeah, so, uh, we're continuing the reviews. This isn't uh, technically an MCU film. But yeah. But that's by the amount of these words, so yeah. But we're reviewing uh, the new Venom number one. Mr. Tom Hardy himself. Alright, so I first watched this film when I was going on holiday to a nice capital city and I saw it on TV and to be honest, I could immediately tell the film was not really that excellent. However, I was still quite able to enjoy it myself. So I came to the conclusion that the film is enjoyable, although it is not faithful at all to the comic books and it's not really that good, but... Tom Hardy is great in the role, Venom is funny, the comedy is there, and it is actually a bit, it has a bit of heart to it between Venom and, and Eddie Brock, you know, it, it, and, and it has the tone of the goofy 90s Venom comic books, so in terms of backstory, it is far from Eddie Brock's tragic backstory as displayed in the comic books, but so still funny. it works what just as fine here. When I first watched this film, I thought it was the best film ever. <laughs> but you know, that's when I was kind of really dumb. You still are really dumb! Bowser Jr. <laughs> anyway, uh, this film is quite... Hi! Hi. Uh, to be honest, I think this is still Ah, uh, yes. But, however, this film does at least have heart. It has a slightly competent story, although it does have a very boring villain. Um... Yeah, I would say C. It's a very low C. However, it's a film that I like more than literally Black Panther, Captain Marvel, and even Ant-Man and definitely Black Widow. So, yes, this film... It's probably not a Well, critically, yeah. I just happen to like it quite a lot for some reason. I do wish, however, that... No, I'm just saying, just... Captain Marvel is C. Ant-Man is C. And you just said, like, you like Venom and Captain Marvel, Ant-Man. And Black Widow, and Black Panther, so I suppose so. Oh shit. Uh, personally, uh, I'm actually going to say what they should have done instead. Although it probably would detract from the you know, film's goal, which was just to be fucking funny and not really have that much substance to it, which is pretty much the standard for superhero content when it comes to the movies nowadays but essentially they should have gone with their own cinematic universe completely separate from the Marvel Cinematic one with its own Spider-Man and everything and this is a story about Eddie Brock after his fight with Spider-Man after he's already sorted that all out and he's already a protector in San Francisco just something like that, something more serious and dark about him trying to move on with his life, still haunted by nightmares or something, and him trying to control the symbiote. The symbiote wants to just kill and just have havoc, well, make havoc and just crap like that. And still has a vendetta against Spider-Man, like a personal grudge. Just something like that. I could... The comedy between the two could have still been there, just not to as high as an extent. Uh, the villain himself uh, should have been. Uh, there's a group of symbiotes, so about five in the comics. I forget their names, but I'm pretty sure they were referenced in this film. They're like five symbiotes that Venom usually fights after Carnage, but. Eh, I'm going to say instead, let's make this before he's fought Carnage, and it's, they, they can fit with his arc somehow. Let's give them all some personality, 
Because, yeah, they're aliens, obviously, taking up human hosts, and I think these ones should literally be the alien consciousness is completely taken over the humans. And, uh, something like that. I don't know, it could... It needs to be a bit more of a dark version of, of Spider-Verse's tone. That's the way I'm envisioning this, but... Like a real, kind of hilariously dark live action imagining of the actual Marvel comics and what it would be like to actually live in that world and how those people would actually be with the complexity of people in the world in real life. Yeah, quite a... basically what the boys did if you think about it, but whatever. Because yes, the film should certainly also be R-rated and be quite brutal at times. But of course it needs to actually have a heart of course. Which at least the original Venom actually does happen to have. So overall, yes I'm going to put this on to a C. And I still think the film's alright. But uh, maybe that's just me liking it because it's Venom, I don't fucking know. Anyway, join us next time for... Um, Literally Venom 2. So. Yeah, we put it in C. Um, we'll see if Venom 2 lives up to the bottom. I mean, <laughs> hold on, you know. Uh, we'll see you there.